and gentlemen, The Baboon Show! Good evening to all. Our story tonight begins, ends, and middles in London. We begin with the middle class hero at the end of a long day. Or should I say, we begin with the middle class hero at the end of a long day. Like a baby's nappy in the morning, a mystery <laughs> is about to unfold. Clients, this is Detective Cheese, along with my assistant. No, you're my sidekick. No, that still implies some sort of usefulness. With the boy assigned to work alongside me, Crackers. Where is he? Crackers! Leave that mouse alone and get over here. Did I miss something, boss? Yes, but we won't go into that again now, will we? Just say hello into the microphone. Hello into the microphone. Thank you. Now go and wash your toupee. Here at London Justice, we solve mysteries. Mysterious ones. Like, why are you still at home when Joe's Corner Store has barbecue shapes? Two for a dollar tonight only. What a steal. But perfectly legal. And that concludes our commercial break. Please be assured that Mr. Cheese was not aware his transmission was live, and will be informed as such. You are listening to the BB B B B B B B B S. That's kind of cheesy ad to do, isn't it, boss? Anything for a penny in these harsh economic times, me boy. That reminds me, I gotta go spend a penny. As we all know, when a detective receives a knock on his door, it can only mean one thing. Hello, my name is Liz Dexic. I'm here for the singing lessons. False alarm crackers. You can go back to putting your toupee on the fishing rod and hanging it out the window, scaring people as they walk past. I'm sorry, miss. You'll have to try three doors up. It's written on the glass. But I can't read very well. Not a problem. Just listen for howling cats and you'll be in the right place. Thank you. Well, it seems that it can mean two things, but a knock on the door usually means a new case to solve. Enter when hitherto will thus feel it so inclined, doeth so. What? Come in. I'm sorry, please forgive my outburst of Shakespeare. You burst your what? (laughs) Never mind. What has brought you here today? The 57 Ford. Ah, yes, I see. They don't make trucks like they used to. No, they make them much better. Air conditioning, safety features, you know, all that stuff. Crackers. Yes? Here's your pencil case. Now zip it. Yes, boss. So, why are you here? Because you let me in. No. Why are you talking to us today? Because I can't write. Crackers, take over, please. I have to ram my head against the wall. Certainly, boss. So, Mr... Bucket. Right. How can we help you today, sir? My chickens are missing. What? So, why cook this? Because... It's a mystery. There. We can frame that and have a nice little window. 
Now, considering we are flat broke, with no hope on the horizon, we accept your case. Come on, crackers. A mind-boggling mystery awaits. It will challenge our very sanity. Robert Duck! I'm sorry, Mr. Bucket. W- what was your first name? Duncan! Duncan. Oh, I'd love to have a beer with Duncan. Oh, I'd love to have a beer with Duncan. We drink in moderation. And we never, ever, ever get rolling. What was that? An involuntary reaction. It might be best if we call you by your last name for the remainder of the episode. Aww. Right, now, to the queen of the same. I mean, the scene of the crime. Yeah! To the queen of the same. chicken burger and a drink please. Crackers, what are you doing at this fast food outlet? We're supposed to be going to the scene of the crime. Would you like some chips as well? Yes, thank you. I'm sorry, boss. I'm a little picky. Like a chicken? Leave the jokes to me and get a move on. Yes, boss. Here you go, love. Thank you. Can I also have a move on? Of course you can, sir. <laughs> yeah! Crime! It's a good thing Mr. Bucket drives as slow as a wet hen, otherwise we might have lost him. Wow, crackers. Outstanding. Right, we're yeah, here. This moped is so embarrassing. Now we must remember to lock our bicycle this time. Yes, Grandma will never forgive us if we lose her bike again. Times are tough, eh? Uh, oh no, we just enjoy all the fresh air and the exercise. And the rain, and sunburn, and all that. Sure you do. Now follow me. I'll show you where my chickens used to be. Here we go. This is my big chicken shed here. And as you can see, they're all gone. I see. There was 10,000 chickens here. That's a lot of poop. Mr. Bucket, there's a bigger mystery here than your chickens are only a part of. What do you mean? Your whole shed is missing. What? Magnet! Button flew by you going on! Crackers. Yes, boss? Organize a musical interlude while I smoke. All right. My fish. And ponder this puzzle. Right.
Listen to this French conversation. Pardon, est-ce que vous comprenez l'anglais? Non, monsieur. Je ne comprends pas l'anglais. Oops, wrong type. Now, bear with me. Now, that will be some nice fish. Cheesy fish. But I must ask you, Doug... Um, my donut? Thank you. Mr. Bucket, what materials did you use to build your shed? I built my shed out of custard. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Did you say you built your shed out of custard? Yep. And a few paper plates. Pasty. Oh, some pastry and icing. We will pretend that you said something relevant, and I will agree. So will I. What did I just agree with? We have solved the mystery of your missing shed. I am impressed. It was surprisingly easy. Did I mention surprising? Um... But it's also clear that our next step is to follow this trail of chicken footprints and feathers and see where they take us. Have no fear, Mr. Bucket, sir. Your hands will soon be found with cheese on their heels. And custard? Yes, that too. Crackers, our chariot awaits. My turn on the handlebars. Very well. And so... Following in earnest this foul trail, today's savoury combo find themselves led to, of all things, a trench coat factory. Look at this, Crackers. These tracks go right up to the back door, then they continue on that way. Must have been nobody here when they knocked. On the contrary, my boy. My gut tells me they went inside. I thought I heard something. <clears throat> well, what you heard technically wasn't my gut. It was my butt. Now let us find the front door, and the manager, and in that order. Oh, say, cheese. Cheese. What? Me? Why? Ah, oh, that will make honourable photo. We hung on honourable wall. You are one million customer. Oh, I, knew I should have gone in first. Oh, oh, oh. Must have been around for a long time. We opened last week. Wow. I'm glad we came at a quiet time. Oh, that okay. Nobody ever come in on Monday. But unfortunately, we are not customers today. Oh, this picture no good. May we see your boss? You have appointment? No. He very busy, man. This is very important. Okay, I get him. Oh, sorry so much. Big Gong must be too loud to wake up, boss. Wonderful. There goes my glasses. Crackers, remind me to pick up some new glasses on our way home. I don't know if we can afford it, though. Yes, I know. But if we see any in the gutter, we'll pick them up. Ah. Oi. Ah, oh, hello, boss. Sorry so much. But in answer to your question, two men here have important matter to discuss. Yes, I'm Detective Cheese. This is Crackers. Yosu Tiakonas. Crackers, that was Greek. Whoops. Here's a bottle of wine. Put a cork in it. Mmm. Oh, boss says the frustration, the humiliation, the awkwardness and embarrassment 
you have in regard to your assistant. He understand. He work with me. Hey, boss, what you mean? Never mind, and thank you. We would like to ask, sir, have you noticed anything unusual lately? Hmm. He say yes. He noticed big pimple on his elbow. Okay, yes, unusual. But what about in the factory? Oi, me wa wa hunde, but ma hum tara ingolotoro. Oh, he say yes. All trench coat gone. Factory full. Then poo. You mean poof? Sorry, so much. Yes, poo. All gone. Boss say big mystery, big dilemma, big money go out window, big headache, sack everybody, go back home to little bonsai garden. Yes, indeed. We no no wa to do. Have no fear, Wing Wong, for cheese is on the case. We will find your missing trench coats soon enough. When did they go missing? Yesterday. How many were there? Two thousand. Hmm. Don't cry, boss. We'll be okay. You'll see. Time to smoke fish and ponder. Crackers. Yes, boss. To the bicycle. Music. chickens but only 2,000 trench coats missing. Elementary Watson, Watson, what's on your mind boy? Elementary? First, look at the chicken prints that lead away from the factory. Yes. There are less of them, but they are deeper. Oh! But what does that mean, cheesy bean? Never combine cheese with beans. Now, let's ride! <laughs> You see, Crackers, my theory is... Are you sitting down? Do it. My theory is they're using the trench coats as a disguise. But how could that work? Well, I realise that a trench coat would be useless on a solitary bird, but four or five could do something with it. Oh, like make a nest? No, concentrate. You really rode us into that lamppost. Sorry, boss. All this talk about chickens making me hungry. Okay. Eat this thing. Ooh, spaghetti. 
Parmesan cheese. Yes, please. Basil? Lovely, thank you. As I was saying, the chickens could stand on top of each other inside the coat to look like a person. Oh, come on! A little bizarre, I know. A little? But why would they do that? That's the mystery. Uh, why is it to go kill me? It's killing me! Stop! Dismount! <sighs> why did Grandmother have to have a penny farthing of all the bikes? Yes, I know. But it was that, or an old rusty pipe, or her goat. I know. Look at this. The tracks have come to an end here at this main road. Crackers, what road is this? I'll find out. Excuse me, what road is this? Please tell me you're not speaking to a lamppost. Oh no, of course not. What do you think I am, stupid? I'm talking to this little bun. Ah, why? Why me? Oh, there's the name of the road up there. Offley Road, part of the A505. Hmm. Crackers, do you know where this road leads to? Rome? No, the airport. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Let's see what Granny's bike can do then. Woohoo! <laughs> Quickly, crackers, this way. Oi, you can't park there. Yes, we know, you can't park a penny farthing anywhere. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. If you want information about those big flying bus things, you'll have to go to that counter. I just serve food at this one. Oh, I see. Would you like a cup of tea? Oh, yes, please. Crackers. I mean, no thanks. And this way. <laughs> Excuse me. Yes? We need to ask, have you noticed anything unusual recently? Absolutely. There's a ten-year-old boy standing right next to you wearing a toupee. Yes, well, he uses it to clean his grandmother's bicycle. How unusual. And you, my good man. Your old teeth. I don't think I can take you seriously. You must have the cheesiest grin this side of Yorkshire. Well, to be more specific... Mm-hmm. Did you by any chance notice about 2,000 trench coats come through recently? Oh, yes. The trench coat mob. Yes, that's first prize of unusual today, I must say. Detective Cheese, I noticed a fly. Thank you, Crackers. Brilliant. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, here it is. Trench coat mob came in and booked up three jumbo jets under the name of Betsy. Do you know them? No, but are they here? They've just left. Rabbits. Don't you mean rats? Yes. I thought it was chickens. Can you tell us a destination? Uh, let's see. Yes, they were flying to America, landing in Kentucky. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. So this case has come to a close, has it, boss? How did you work that out, me boy? Well, whenever you take your hat off and sit on the floor, looking disappointed, disappointed, that's the disappointed in public, that's what it means. Well, I think Duncan Bucket can kiss his chickens goodbye. Why? Can't we just bring them back? Crackers, every chicken I've seen coming out of Kentucky has been fried. Yes. Let's go. And so, after solving one of London's more bizarre mysteries, our heroes informed their respective parties and then did their best to forget about it. They no longer eat chicken or custard, and a tweed jacket is now their only preference for a coat. Up, down, up, down, but I gotta get across to the other side of town before the sun goes down. Hey, hey, 
was the Baboon Show. Thank you for listening. You must be an exceptional individual. Thanks also go to our special guest stars, Jared on guitar and Brad on drums. Yeah, baby. As they say in Italy, grazie, buonanotte. Hello. Chips? Anyone? Would you like some chips? I'm serving chips all day. All day and all night. If you like chips, let me know.